We're just between flights now. We're going to be on our way back to Toronto very, very shortly. What we're doing is just a, a walk around of the aircraft to make sure that uh, there's no fluids leaking out of the airplane, make sure that uh, uh, the tires are in good shape and uh, there's nothing out of the ordinary uh, before we go flying once again. We do this uh, uh, walk around inspection before every flight, uh, even at the outstation, such as what we're doing here in Quebec City. I'm just walking around the aircraft. I'm not touching anything. I'm just looking at it visually to make sure everything looks to be in order. Making sure that obviously if uh, we, we thought we may have hit a bird, we didn't. Uh, we, would, we would find out if we did by uh, looking at the aircraft itself in that regard. We're checking the propellers to make sure they're all okay. Haven't picked up any FOD. As a 915, give it ground. So we're looking for a 9 for 2 Toronto, we have X-ray gate. As a 915, clear to Toronto Airport. Departure 106 to Quebec 3, you've got a flight plan route, quad 6242. As a 915, give it ground, push back at the discretion. Push back our discretion, Jazz 915. And you're cleared to push, brakes are released, sir, and uh, runway 06. Just so, uh, as we're taxiing out here, coming out of the ramp area, we're going to go down Taxiway Bravo, taxi along the other runway, runway 30, taxi along Golf. We're going to hold short here, and then uh, we're going to talk to the tower controller who's going to get us uh, take off from there. off runway 06, heading up to the northeast uh, of the airport. Lights to go. to you earlier, we're uh, just skirting to the north of the weather. Uh, excellent radar on board the airplane, and uh, we're just going direct to uh, the Ottawa VOR at this point in time. And a little weather around the Ottawa VOR, we may have to go a bit further north, but uh, all's well right here, and uh, we're in a fairly smooth flight. Uh, the Q400 uh, instrumentation, uh, basically an all-glass cockpit, uh, much different from the classic aircraft that uh, we've been used to over the years. Uh, you'll notice that uh, on the PFD on this side, uh, you've got your Horizon and HSI all built in here on glass. You have your speed 
tape on uh, the left-hand side and your altitude tape on the right-hand side. My uh, heads-up guidance system right here is basically an image from this. It's projected from the back here. And uh, what you see down here is what I actually see right through here. Uh, everything's basically the same. Starting to think about our uh, arrival into Toronto. We've been cleared the Simcoe to arrival. Expecting to land on uh, runway uh, 23 or one of the 24s, that's yet to be confirmed. So just our initial thoughts on this is giving us direction on what altitude to expect over this waypoint called Wasi. So uh, for us it's 7,000 feet, uh, 210 knots. So we're gonna program that uh, into our VNAV uh, for our descent profile to give us uh, um, something to look at and uh, plan around. On our PFD, you can see the uh, acronym TOD stands for Top of Descent, and uh, it's a good reminder uh, uh, of when to start thinking about our uh, descent and to get an air traffic control clearance. Further to our approach preparation right now, Steve's uh, making a request for the ATIS uh, weather through the ACAR system. That'll come back shortly, and that's going to give us more information on uh, what we can expect for our uh, approach and arrival into Toronto. So what this will do, uh, it'll it'll go through the uh, ACAR system, and we have a printer just over there beside Gavin, and it'll print out. Is that for us? I'm not sure. Uh, confirm that was for Jazz 915. Jazz 915, affirmative. Contact Toronto Center now on 124 decimal 67. Good day. 12467, Jazz 915. So long. Good. 215 with you at a 310, climbing 340. Canada 575, identify climbing point level 340. Any ride reports at 340? Uh, just occasional light drop. Understand. Center, good day, it's Jazz 915 uh, with you at uh, 240. Jazz 915, identified by the whole 240. Hey okay, Steve, brand new weather, it's whiskey. Ate us um, uh, at 1400 Zulu, so we got uh, 250, fairly gusty, 23, gusting 28. Oh yeah. Um, 15 miles, so very good visibility, a few clouds up at 10,000 feet, 24 degrees. And altimeter's uh, 2971 when you need it. Advertising uh, the ILS DME 24 uh, left and departing 23. Watch out for migratory birds uh, and goose uh, in the area. Sound yeah. good? Okay, that's good, thanks. What you see Steve doing there, uh, again preparing for the approach, he's using the ACAR system to request uh, our landing uh, performance numbers. So it's going to show us the distance we need to land and um, what speeds uh, that we have to target on, on our approach. And I'm going to put two runways in there. I'll put 24 left and 23, just in case they switch it up, then we'll have the information. Excellent. 35 flat, reduced MP is fine. Yeah, I'm just going to get the heat this year. No icing expected, no li low vis expected. Looks like about 60,000 pounds, eh? 60,000 will work great. So our landing weight is expected to be 60,000 pounds. Got all the information in now and we just send and wait for the printout. That will give us our exact uh, landing uh, uh, numbers as far as speeds uh, for, uh, for the particular runway that we're using. I put two runways in, 24 left is the primary that uh, we're going to, but there is a chance, very, very small chance you get to know uh, uh, Toronto Air Traffic Control, they may switch to 23. And so we've got that information already done. One less task we have to do if it does happen. So here we are for runway 24 left. Uh, standard uh, engine out, 230 will be our heading if there's a problem yep. on the go around, 9,000 feet of runway. And for flap 35, we're gonna ref of uh, 118, so make it 3823. Or 33, 130, 138, yeah, and 123, 123, yeah. And I've got 750 now, bug for MDA. Check. And landing distance is uh, 2,457 feet. Okay, there I'll go. go ahead and set up your HGS. Okay, let me know when you're all set, and I'll uh, give you a briefing.
elevation for uh, the elevation for that uh, five elevation 547. Okay, go ahead, Gav. Hey, very good. Uh, radar vectors. Uh, well, first of all, as the Simcoe 2 arrival, we've already uh, confirmed our uh, programming, um, and uh, from from there, uh, we may just get a close star. ILS DME uh, 24 left uh, in Toronto. I'm using 11-7, uh, effective 31 July. Check low frequency is 111.95. decimal 95, and uh, we'll have that up in a second. Bound track 237 degrees. No temp uh, comp required. Uh, it's nice and warm in Toronto. So 2120 over uh, Kirex. And down to a DA of 747 on the pressure altimeter, 750 uh, set on the MDA. Check. Touchdown zones 547, highest quadrant in Toronto area is 3,100 feet. If we land, uh, we're going to. Uh, for runway 24 left. We're going to expect either a Delta 2, possibly Delta 4, probably Delta 4 uh, for an exit. And um, our track back to our terminal building of gate 128 will take us probably around the outside and then Perimeter, into yep. the uh, gate, into 128. gate 128. If we do miss, we're going to climb to 11 on a track at 237. Climbing left turn, direct the uh, St. Catharines NDB 4,000 feet and uh, VFR conditions as briefed for the uh, engine out. Any okay. questions? No questions, and I'll set up those frequencies for you. Thank you. Coming into Toronto, you can see us on our uh, our map display. This is an 80-mile arc, so we can expect um, top of descent in about 40 miles. We're going to ask for our descent clearance if he doesn't give it to us. And our distance back from the airport right now is uh, 138 miles back. So uh, we're going to be quiet for another five, uh, five, six minutes, and then uh, we're going to start our descent. Hello, Toronto, it's Jazz 915 with you. Information and whiskey, 240. Jazz 915, Toronto Center, hello, identified. It is whiskey. Expect runway 24 left. 24 left, Jazz 915. Oh, we guessed it right. 24 left. Yep, 24 left it is. All right, top, top of descent alert. Uh, you can request descent. Jazz 915 requesting lower. Jazz 915, uh, proceed direct to Wasi. Descend to uh, 6,000, cross Wasi at 6,000. Okay, uh, present position direct Wasi and uh, cross Wasi at 6,000, Jazz 915. Okay. First 6,000 out cell. That's confirmed. And uh, direct Wasi? Yep. So confirmed direct Wasi number 10? Number 10, yep. Okay, and VNAV? Check. It's now uh, Six to Wasi. 6,000. And uh, we'll just go VTO, VTO now. How's that? Yeah. Wasi. What's it showing? And Sean? VNAV is armed. Should be coming in. Uh, v uh, VNAV is captured. So we just um, we just got our uh, initial descent clearance from air traffic control. Cleared us down to uh, 6,000 feet, and our VNAV is going to take us down at about 1,500, 1,600 feet per minute. And it will plan us to be level at 6,000 right at uh, the Wasi intersection. Transition 2971. 407, descend to 7,000, cross Wasi level, the ultimate here is 2972. Down to 7,000, cross Wasi level, 2972, Air Canada 407. 407, Roger. Just to keep you sharp, because I'm sure you don't do it very often, we're going to be landing right into the wind for you today. Oh. <laughs> I don't think we're trained to do that. I'm just going to say, you can, you can cancel that sim you had booked, this is going to be it. Okay, thanks. <laughs> You guys got a sense of humor. Just built the runways the wrong way. <laughs> Let's move it. Actually, the real truth of it is, if the wind was 320 at uh, 20, and we slid over to 33 left, before your first guy would uh, flare, 
your company would call up here and say, no way, back to the 24. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's a whole different priority. <laughs> yep. That's funny. Somebody's got a sense of humor. See, you know it's a nice time to come into Toronto Pearson Airport when they got uh, time uh, to talk. Controller can take a do a little joke. Yeah, that's great. Jazz seven seven five two to send eight thousand. Send eight thousand. Jazz seven seven five two. Good morning, arrivals. Jazz uh, nine one five with you out of uh, seven uh, descending six thousand. Air Canada zero eight one heavy. Turn left heading three three zero. Left three three zero. Canada zero eight one. Jazz 915, hello, A to Swiski, Lenny, runway 24 left. Information, Whiskey, we check, and 24 left, Jazz 915. 7,000 for 6,000, hope so. Jazz 915, descend to 4,000, speed 170 now. Speed 170 down to 4,000, Jazz 915. For 4,000, so that's Fox confirmed. 170 down to 8,335. Affirmative, 5. Flash F5, 176, 170, crossing right tail tower, there's 18.7. 170, crossing right tail, then tower, watch 576. Yeah, 7929, if you're here, the runway is 24 left, lower in about 15 miles. Yeah, 7929, yeah, 7752, heading 290, clear visual approach, runway 24 left. 290, clear visual, 24 left, yeah, 7752. Okay, Canada 502, descend down to 4000, then speed 5000 for 4000. Down to 4, then we'll slow to 190, Air Canada 502. George at 7354. First, I'd like you to slow to 190, then descend to 6000. 190 to slow down to 190, and then 6000, uh, George at uh, 7354. Air Canada 260, descend to 5000. 5000, Air Canada 260. Rival Air Canada 407, 7000, and we have whiskey. Canada 407, hello, all 29972, your runway is 24 left. 2972, 24 left. Yeah, 7752, you're following a Gulf Stream by four and a half, 170 knots now to the marker, tower there is 1835. Okay, following to 170 at the marker, 1835, yeah. Jazz 915, four on the glide path, clear down approach, 24 left. Four on the glide path, clear the Alice, uh, 24 left, Jazz 915. I'll start. Okay, there's Alt star, leveling 4000, glide slope is armed, check 70 knots. Heading zero, sure. zero clear 4000, that counts 260. Glide slope is live. Check. Air Canada 407, 190 knots first, then descend to 5,000 feet. 190 first, then down to 5, Air Canada 407. 2,500. Air Canada 260, turn right, heading 190. Right, heading 190, Air Canada 260. Air Canada 407, 220 heading, join 24 left localizer. 220 heading, join 24 left localizer, Air Canada 407. Air Canada 502, you're following a dash AQ400 by 4 miles, 170 knots now to Kirex, tower there is 1835. And 170 gear rank 1835, Air Canada 502. Canada 260, 210 heading intercept, descend to 3, or actually leave 4 on the glide path, clear down approach, 24 left. 210 heading, leave 4 on the glide path, clear down approach, 24 left, approach, Air Canada 260. Sonic Adagia, 7938, 250, 11,000. Jazz 7938, hello, when you're ready, descend to 9 or 1,000, you'll be landing runway 24 left. Gear down, please. 24 left, 1 ready, 9,000, Jazz 7938. Georgia 7354, base turns in another 5 miles, you'll be following Air Canada Airbus 320. Uh, Jordan 7354, uh, there's your check your marks. And 502, Papa, descend 5,000 feet, then reduce speed to 190 knots. 15. We'll seven. descend to 5,000, then slow to 190, zero to five. Air Canada 407, keep the speed at 190 till I advise, leave 5 on the glide path, clear the ILS approach, runway 24 left. You said reduce to. We will maintain 190 till advise, leave 5 on the glide path, grip the ILS 24 left. Air Canada 135, landing check. Air Canada 260, you're behind company Embraer by 4 miles, 170 knots. Inside, uh, tower Kyrx. crossings 1835. 835 at Kyrx, 170 knots. Target HS uh, 915 with you inside Kyrx. There's 915, uh, target A, plan Delta 4 is your exit, clear to land 24 left, one 260 or 20, 26. Clear to land 24 left and uh, Delta 4, we check Jazz 915. Delta 4 it is, Gap. Delta 4, okay. okay. Flight attendants advised, caution lights are checked. Uh, landing gear? 3 green. Flaps? 35, set and indicating. And the blue, uh, yeah, sorry, the uh, two, Delta four, labors are five, reduced NP. Right, and then turn right on Delta. Delta it's 4, cross 2, 4, right, right on Delta, Jazz 775. Landing check is now complete. Check. Pretty 
gusty. 20 gusts to 26. Target Air Canada, 502 inside, key rex for 24 left. And a 502 Target A, you're about two and a half line to dash A, continuing number two, the wind, 260, 20 gusts, 26. Auto pulse off, 502. check. A 7752 right, 500. Now 1219, good day. 219, good day. Bridge of Atlantic, check complete. One hundred, fifty, forty, yeah, thirty, five oh two, clear twenty, line, two four left, ten, six zero twenty, guess twenty five. Third line twenty four left. Nice shot at five oh two. So we're gonna roll to uh, Delta four. four. Very good. This first one's Delta two. Yep. Okay. Just keep up with the speed a little bit yep. here. Canada 260 approaching carry 54 left. Yeah, and 260 target A number two on the approach company 192 okay, final wind 260 well twenty five. Little land two four left. Land Delta Very four, nice. Jerry. You are cleared across uh, 24 right and then right onto Delta. Okay, very good. Thank you. Truck ground jazz uh, 915, turning right on Delta here and going to gate 128. Delta 915, good day, taxi Delta 33 right, Ultra Tango. Delta. Cross 33, or taxi 33 right, confirm, and short of Delta, or uh, short of Tango. Short of Delta 33 right, short of Tango. Short of Tango on th 33 right, Jens, uh, 950. Please. Okay, it'll be Delta, it'll be a left turn on 33 right, That's hold short of Tango. Very good. 1427, Jens, 7752. Late, Bravo, keep it further from there. Charlie 1, Charlie Bravo, Arcana 5, uh, 01. Center What do you want us to do? Slow. There we go. Welcome to Toronto, folks. Welcome to Toronto, <laughs> folks. Um, pretty much an on-time arrival. Beautiful day in Toronto, and uh, we have 70 uh, passengers in the back. Very happy to get to uh, Toronto safely and on time. Thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoyed your flight. Thanks for flying Air Canada Express. <laughs>